It is Monday, you guys. Scratch that. It is Tuesday, and we are back for another week of lunches. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, tips for all shades of mom life, and I am back for another week of lunches, and lucky for you guys, it is a short week, so I only have four days worth of lunches to show you this week, but lucky for us, that means we had a three-day weekend, so we are all slowly recouping this morning, but here's what our kids are taking for lunch today. So Mason's doing somewhat of like a deconstructed Lunchable. I have some of these salami sticks that I got from Trader Joe's. I think he's really going to like that. So I have that coupled with a cheese stick. And then he has a Chobani's yogurt and an applesauce. I have some strawberries here. I have two of the last cookies from meal prep from last week. I have some Pirate's Booty from meal prep from last week a pure layered fruit bar and the pineapple and passion fruit and then a capri sun juice box so that is what mason is taking and then for jacob these are those sandwiches that i've made before i've showed you guys them this is two pieces of cucumber and then inside of it is everything but the bagel seasoning cream cheese regular cheese and bacon and i did just put a fork in there just in case Jacob needed to scoop up like any of the pieces that just fell down into the bowl, but he really loves this. He loves himself some cucumber, so just the combination of the cheese and the cream cheese and the bacon and the everything but a bagel seasoning, he is all about that. So that is what is for him. And then on the side, he has one of these Texas Best, sorry, Trails Best, dear Lord. It's early in the morning and I'm, I'm all about Texas apparently. Uh, it is one of these snacks to go, so it's beef sticks, which are like, you know, the Duke sticks sunflower kernels and raisins so I think he'll like that and then here are some strawberries for him he has some sour cream and onion potato chips one of the last pieces of pumpkin bread from meal prep from last week and some Annie's fruit snacks so that is it guys for our extremely lazy and hard to move Tuesday morning Okay, you guys, so welcome to Wednesday, and it definitely feels like a hump day for sure. So here's what I have packed for the kiddos for today. So Mason is taking a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. He has these little lemon cookies that I took out of the package, but I left it here to show you. It's these Abby cookies that we get in our variety fun box, and so I just put them right there for him. There's some blueberries right there, and then some pirate's booty. He has a cheese stick. He has one of those pure layered fruit bars in the strawberry banana. He has a cinnamon apple sauce and then a Capri Sun juice box. So that's what Mason is taking. For Jacob, he has a triple decker PB&J. And then down here along the side are three of those spicy Duke sticks. He has some of the great value chili cheese corn chips, a brisk. He's finishing off that cake batter. I might be able to squeeze out of the container one more portion of that cake batter hummus he loved it but those those little vanilla cookies that went with it he keeps asking for them because he says they're so good I have a cheese stick here for him some cut up broccoli and then my ranch dressing so that's good on Jake and then here's what I packed for Daryl he only has like three quarters of a day today he's coming home a little bit early because we're taking the dogs to get their bodies washed at like the self-washing dog place so I didn't pack him too too much today I just gave him a Dr. Pepper he also has a triple decker PB and J and then I have one of these great value cheese crunch like the crunchy cheese noodles this was on markdown for only 36 cents it's just a slice of banana nut cake so i packed him that and then in here is just some blueberries and strawberries and that is it you guys for our hump day so you guys know those little clapboards that they use in movies where they do like take one take two if you guys saw what the little clapboard would look like in front of this lunch clip you guys would laugh your butts off because I think that I'm on clip number 15. I can not 
talk today. I am stumbling over every single one of my words, so I'm thinking this should be the only thing I film today because I don't know if speaking is on the agenda, but we're going to try and get through it. I'm going to show you guys what everyone's taking for lunch on this Thursday morning, and I'm so glad that tomorrow is TGIF. So here's what Jake is taking for lunch, and this is the everything ciabatta roll from Trader Joe's. On the bottom, I have some chopped up lettuce, and then here is the chicken salad that I made during meal prep, and this is the one that has the grapes in it, and he really likes that. So I know he's going to be happy about this sandwich. And then here is the Great Value Cheese Crunch. It's like the crunchy cheese doodles. I bought this Great Value mix bag of chips like two weeks ago, and we're just finishing it up right now during today's lunch. So I know this lasts a while, and for five bucks, you can't beat that. So I'm going to pick that up again. And then we're out of Annie's Fruit Snacks. This is our last one. So this is the Berry Fruit Snacks and the Berry Patch flavor, the purple one. So they're on my list for this weekend. Here is a cheese stick, my homemade ranch dressing, some carrot sticks. Back here is the very last piece of that pumpkin chocolate chip bread, so I'm glad to did not go to waste and it was like worth it cooking it and I definitely will make it again. Some of the oh snap pickles I thought that would go good with his sandwich and then a brisk iced tea. And now here is what Daryl is taking. So I packed him like some breakfasty foods and then his lunch. So here is two of those egg cups and then a chocolate chip muffin. I froze them and I just took it out so it can naturally defrost. And then here is the last bag of chips. So Jake had the cheese crunch and then this is the Glacier Ranch, like the Cool Ranch Doritos. Jake said that these were better than Cool Ranch Doritos. So good to know. And then here are the cobblestone rolls. I actually picked these up from the Dollar Tree. Haven't even got a chance to film that video yet because this bread went right into the fridge to use for sandwiches for Daryl. So on the bottom there is some lettuce and then there is chicken salad on this roll also and then he just has that knockoff a Dr. Pepper. So that is it for Daryl's lunch and then for Mason he's just taking one of these Happy Kids apple and blackberry yogurts with a apple juice juice box and then inside of his yum box he has one of those pineapple and passion fruit gummy sticks and then I put some pirate's booty in here for him. Here's one of those cinnadoodle cookies is down there unbroken and then there's another one broken so I could like fit it in here and same thing with the cheese stick. I cut that in half so that it would fit in here. He has some blackberries and then there is some ketchup because I just heated up in some tin foil the last of the chicken nuggets that the kids had last night for dinner. So I'm going to wrap this up and put that with this and this and that is it guys. I'm calling this lunch video clip done. Okay, guys, so I actually made these lunches last night before midnight, and I refused to turn the camera on because it was still Thursday, and I was literally tongue-tied all day yesterday. couldn't film anything else, and today I wanted to officially be able to say T-G-I-F. How many of you guys actually say that? I feel like I say that every Friday. I grew up in an era where I used to watch the T-G-I-F on TV on a Friday night, like it would have all of your shows, Family Matters and all of that, and they would sing that TGIF song. So I don't know about you guys, but as soon as it hits Friday, it's the first thing I say. So let me show you guys what my kiddos are taking for lunch today. So last night I popped them some fresh popcorn with that brown paper bag and the microwave trick. And then Mason is taking some Ritz crackers and it has some cream cheese and jelly on there. He's taking a cheese stick down there is one of those strawberry banana gummy sticks and some strawberries. He has some of those vanilla wafer cookies, an apple cinnamon applesauce, and a apple juice pouch. And that's it for Mason for Friday. And then here is what Jake is taking. He has a cheese stick and then some of those spicy Duke sticks. He's taking three of those cinnadoodle cookies that I baked. Uh, here is some of that popcorn. And then right now in the microwave, I'm going to throw in this cheeseburger mac. He hasn't had this one in a long time. So he's going to be super excited. And I'm going to stick it in this canister. And if you guys have never done that, if you want to make this where it helps retain the heat, throw hot water in there and it kind of activates the metal. And then you toss the hot water, dry it out and stick your food in it. And it just helps keep it warmer longer. Just a little tip if you guys did not know that. Here's his brisk iced tea. And then in this little storage tower from the Dollar Tree, there's some chopped up uh, long spears of cucumber there. In this bottom one here is his ranch dressing. And then he also has 
has some strawberries. All the kids need to take strawberries today because they went bad so fast from Walmart this week. Like that never happens. They were almost going bad during meal prep. So I knew that they were definitely not going to last the week and they did not end up tossing half of them yesterday. So that is it guys. It has been a crazy week and it was only four days, but we made it through. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I love you guys so much. If you enjoy these lunch videos, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I post a what's for lunch every week here on the channel. I love you guys all so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.